It's been a long time since we've got all four on the driveway. That's right, and it's fully booked, baby. Greg wants me to do something funny with this. I don't think she got it today. No. no. Come here, Greg. Come over here. Come on. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Guys, we got a big box today, which means we have big excitement on this week's episode. On this week's episode, we are installing the Hooked Road side armor on our white TJ. This is episode number 17. And we are so excited to share with you this install. Now, if you haven't been following, we've installed a lot of hook road parts on this Jeep, including those fenders, the rear fenders, the rear bumper. And now we're installing these side armor pieces and we cannot wait. Now, as always, this company has been generous enough to offer a discount to all of our viewers. All you have to do is enter code garage couple on their website and you get free shipping and you get a discount. These parts are already very affordable. These are probably the most affordable parts you could put on a Jeep Wrangler. So, why don't we jump right in? Can you tell Greg was excited? He just took that whole intro away from me. Just took it away. You, what were you, by the way, what were you doing when I was saying all those things? Where were you looking? I wasn't really looking anywhere. You shall find out, Jay Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Where's my cutter? So, all of these installs can be done with some simple hand tools. And you're gonna need a jack for this one and as Aline was holding you'll need a C-clamp as well You're gonna need to drill just as a heads up You will be drilling into the body of your Jeep the instructions actually call for using a lock nut But I'm gonna see if we could get away with a rivet gun because we have the rivet tool So why don't you go ahead and open that pups? Let's do it Shabang. Shabang. Look at that guys, the instructions are in color this time. You know, it's funny having installed so many of these products, it's funny to see what we're getting each time. But one thing's for sure, we're generating a lot of trash. So why don't we go ahead and pull this out. I do want to let you know, it is actually really heavy. They have two different models on their website and this is the one that actually has a side rail, side step um, versus the one that is just purely armor. Greg's gonna go ahead and unwrap it. We're gonna show you all the hardware and lay it out for you. This shouldn't take very long. Anyone at home can do it with a couple simple hand tools. Famous last words. Famous garage couple words. Garage couple style. Yep. Oh man, wow. look at that. This we is, needed it. We needed this it. This is nuts. Wow, that's, it's, the, it's not the right side. This is for the other side, but let's just take a look. Wow. <laughs> wow, that looks crazy, guys. Let's get the other one unboxed. Let's get this ball rolling. This looks awesome. It's a matte black powder coated finish. I could tell this is for the rear. I mean, this is for the driver's side, and this one is for the passenger side. Let me get you some close ups, guys. This is all the hardware the side steps come with. Not much, pretty straightforward. You have 10 rivets, 10 bolts, 10 washers, and 10 lock nuts. And these are all the tools that you are gonna need. This rivet gun has done us wonders. If you wanna grab your own, we'll drop the link to our Amazon shop below. These are some cobalt drill bits. Recommend some cobalt heads if you, if you don't already have some. This is a punch tool, handy dandy punch tool. It was 10 bucks on Amazon. And here is our hammer drill. You are going to need to drill into the body, which is not a big deal. Just make sure you have some kind of nail polish or paint after you put the holes in. And why don't we get started? Now, step one, you'll notice that there are three body mount bolts underneath the body of the Jeep. You are going to loosen the rear two. One and two. And do that on both sides because the, the part is actually going to slide and sit up in this area. So let's go ahead and loosen. Don't remove it all the way. You see these rivets? Now these are perfectly distanced so that they can sit right above the rear two body mounts. Now you either grab someone strong to lift the body or grab yourself a jack and a block of wood or concrete to lift up the body. I just went ahead and loosened both sides and we're gonna go ahead and slide this in now. So the way we did it, and I'm sorry we did it without showing, we'll show you exactly on the other side. 
I just wanted to make sure I could get this before I showed you guys how to do it. I used a cinder block and a jack to kind of jack up in the front area. I actually loosened all nine body mount bolts and I fully removed this left side body mount bolt, including the rear and these three over here. I was able to just quickly slide it in and now we're gonna use some C-clamps so that we could tap and drill out those holes. And Greg has just decided to take the door off so we have some better access here. So just release the clamp. I'm gonna actually just lower this jack so it sits a little better. There we are. Now let's go ahead and reclamp. We are gonna tighten all the body mounts on this side that we have loosened to ensure that when we drill, it is lined up properly. So this is as good as we're gonna get with the alignment. I know it's not sitting perfectly. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and paint that white piece black. And then that front I think is okay. I mean, overall, I do think this looks pretty cool. So on to the next step, we're gonna go ahead and drill and then tap. Let's do it. We're gonna start by tapping and then we'll start with a smaller drill bit and make our way up. So the next thing we're gonna do is use a 1364. We're gonna use a smaller drill bit and open out the holes. Sizing up. All right guys, quick Home Depot run. Here's what we're gonna do. The rivets won't fit through those holes. What you're supposed to do is drill everything out, drop that side rail, put the rivets in and then bring it back up. Now, I don't wanna do that because of the body mount situation. We just got some nuts like this and we're gonna go ahead and just put them in one by one. By the way, these got really expensive. It's like a dollar a piece nowadays. Let's just hand thread all of them in. We purchased a longer M10 bolt for the for the rear just because it goes through two layers of body panel. Time to tighten. Yeah, you're a riveter. The driver's side is done and that looks insane. Whoa, drop a line, what do you guys think? Check it out. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, but this time we'll show you exactly for how we do it. So why don't we grab yourself your jack, grab a cinder block or a piece of wood, and go ahead and find the body. Now I removed the front body mount. The, uh, all the other ones are loose, including these rear ones. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna jack it from right over here. Now you have plenty of room to slip that side step in. So grab your handy dandy step. This is probably like 30 pounds. It's actually pretty heavy. And next you're gonna just get these tabs Ooh. and slide them in. And that right. JKU over there looks great, huh guys? Wow. Shameless plug. Shameless. Don't be afraid to put a little pressure on that thing. Next, go ahead and clamp the side step in place so that we can tap in and drill those holes. Next, we're gonna tighten the body mount bolts and put that front one back in, and then we'll be ready to tap. We're gonna drop it just a tad. And for those of you that don't know Doberman, Dobes, my baby. He's digging his nose through because he wants to play. Now using a center tap, I'm gonna put a little hole right dead center. Make sure it's in the center. And if it's not, we will return it. Let's upgrade our size. What you doing? I know, baby. Aww. And we're in the home stretch here, that's it. Let's plug it up. Make sure you do washer first and then lock nut in front of the, the nut on the back so it stays securely against the body of the Jeep. And time to tighten. I 
Jen. What are you doing? Just checking to make sure it's sturdy, and it's sturdy. You guys, check that thing. That is the weight test. It is not budging. I think that's held in pretty good. I think so too. Wow, this actually looks so good. What do you guys think? I mean, for the price that it is, a couple hundred dollars. The ease of the install. I would say check it out in the link below, you guys. There you have it. Those are the side fenders from Hook Road. Don't forget we have a coupon code. So if you would like a discount and free shipping, type in Garage Couple at checkout. This was a great, amazing install. Easy to do and just check it out. That looks, that looks absolutely fantastic. The only thing that I would recommend is before doing this job, go ahead and get those nuts and a longer one for the rear as well. Just so that you don't have to make a trip out uh, mid-install. Thank you guys. If you have a wife, it's all right. I'll Just go send her out. <laughs> Thanks for coming along for the ride. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Have a great rest of your Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday when you check this out. Hey, And be sure to check out the sweaters. Hey, 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 These nuts.